Hey y'all, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Honey G here. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join the game. This video is sponsored by I Like Hair. So shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. I'm currently wearing one of their units now, but we're going to get into all that in today's video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and again, subscribe if you are new to my channel. And let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright y'all, so let's go ahead and get into this hair hair so for starters so this is how the box came so i like the packaging it's really cute so i like hair.com first time hearing about this company so this is supposed to be a glueless no adhesive install so we're gonna get into that today and we're gonna see if this wig is giving glueless or not open it just like this so let's see what's what came inside of this box so this is the hair really 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 soft all right so this is their 12 inch bob unit this is kind of like a lace closure type of unit it's not really a full frontal which is fine with me like i said this is supposed to be like a glueless install you can you know spray the top if you would like let's get into this lace so the lace if I was to go in and bleach the knots, I would because the knots are really dark and they are kind of large. So I would go in and bleach the knots with this wig. The hair feels really, 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 really good. And of course, I'm probably going to go in and really add some curls to this hair. So we're going to see what this does today. Ooh! now this is important okay i love how this wig comes with an elastic strap y'all this is so freaking important this is really important because this is really going to give you that glueless type of install because with this right here your wig ain't going nowhere okay your wig is not going anywhere i'm going to go ahead and cut the lace in the back because I always forget to cut that part and when I'm taking pictures and stuff girl it just be showing so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that is a plus for me I'm so happy that this unit comes with a strap that makes me super excited because it's going to be given what it needs to give let's get into the rest of this box so they also sent me a comb Ooh. I don't have one, so this will come in handy. As many hair companies I work with, I feel like I've never gotten all of this stuff. So let's get into what's inside of this. They sent wig caps, which your girl be needing some wig caps. Like, ooh, let me find out this a bunny. Hold up. It feels like a shower cap, though. It feels like a shower cap. It might be a shower cap. That's exactly, yep. I feel like it's a shower cap. But okay, never gotten that before. Ooh, okay. This company, 10 out of 10, y'all. 10 out of 10. A this is like a like an edge control brush, which I already bought a new one. So I guess I have this one for keepsake. Some tweezers to pluck. So I love that. They sent me some hair clips. It's kind of like they sent everything that you'll need for this install. If you decide to pluck it, you need tweezers. The part, for a straight part, you need the rat tail comb. Shower, you got the shower cap. Like, I absolutely love, okay? So, so far, 10 out of 10, y'all. 10 out of 10. My hair is straightened out, so I'm just going to... It don't have to really be neat, girl. I'm just gonna like all this, finger comb all this to the back and do like a low ponytail. This is how I've been able to wear my wigs lately because I get my hair done a lot now as far as like me going to the salon. So I can't always try to get my hair braided down because I feel like if I'm not going to have it braided down for four weeks or more, it's no point in me getting my hair braided down. You feel me? You feel me? And I'm gonna go in and add some makeup powder so we'll be doing a voiceover for the rest of this video so let's go ahead and get into this install process y'all this install process is super quick and easy so i'm taking the wig cap and i'm applying that on my head 
now i'm not going to be molding down a wig cap of course but right here i'm pretty much i was just explaining to you guys that i'm only going to be applying powder in the middle of the cap no need to add powder all over the cap because it's only the lace is only like in the middle so there's no need to apply makeup powder all over the cap so now we're putting on the wig and as y'all can see the wig was a perfect fit love 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 it was very comfortable now i'm taking those hair clips and i'm going to clip the hair in the back because we're going to go ahead and cut off this excess lace that we don't need now i did remember i did remember why i kind of didn't like closure wigs was because it looks super wiggy to me um with a frontal wig i'm so used to plucking the hairline but it's okay um this wig still was doable now i'm going in and baby i am hot combing those humps we got to get those humps out i hate that i hate when i see girls wigs look like this like girl look at the difference like if it's not comb and comb y'all humps out because it's it be humping okay baby y'all wigs be humping and i hate me a humpy dumpy wig so <laughs> i am trying my best now i'm not gonna lie my hot comb is trash it's old it did what it needed to do but it still gave humpy a little bit so right here i'm curling it i'm cutting it and i was having a really hard time trying to kind of like cope with this wig like i curled this wig a million times y'all of course i didn't include all the clips in this video because it would have been too long but i was just trying to play around with the wig and i don't know i was just trying to make it do what it do all right y'all so this is the finished look okay all right y'all so this is the finished look i went in and cut some of this wig some like i did i did cut it in like you know try to cut it in layers because i was curling it and y'all know if you want your curls to pop and you know look like something you have to cut it in layers don't know why it's looking humpy right here but i did go in and y'all i curled this hair like five million times like the curls was just not working so then i went in i took my flat iron and see this side is like whatever um i went in and i took my flat iron and i tried to straighten it out to see how it would look straightened out and it it's just not giving i'm like bro so i kind of like doing his own thing or whatever like i don't know and i don't know why it's looking like that like uh i don't know like i'm not gonna lie i had a hard time with this wig <laughs> But other than that, y'all, the hair is really, really, really nice. The wig fits really good. Only thing that took me so long, of course, like I said, was the curling process. Like, trying to get this wig to look like something, child. So, make sure y'all check down below. In my description box, everything is listed down there. All the information. Don't forget to like this video because it helps me a lot. Leave some comments because it also helps me a lot. Okay, let me know what y'all think of this hair. Yeah, it's giving mature mom. <laughs> it's cute though. It's cute. I'm going to go in and play with it some. Thank y'all for watching. And I will see y'all in my next video.